with, with not really too much of anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you going to do with a train yard? You ride the train going up and mm -hmm. ride it coming back. The only thing is, we had two tunnels to go through, mm -hmm. and invariably they broke down in the tunnel. And the breeze always come down through the tunnel and past the train, so you sat back there in the smoke until you couldn't take it much longer. And uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know one night we we got off the train and was all going ahead, was going going to go out the other end of the tunnel. And the train started back up, and we had to get back on as best we could. And it's a wonder we made it on because the tunnel was close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were close in there, right. but we all got on. Right. Right. Did you, did you did you did you did you notice any hostility in in, in where you were or was the war? No, you were okay. Grains were hostile hostile to us anyway. Okay, okay. So, uh, and the Japanese they were they were they were prisoners of war. No, mostly civilians. Oh, mostly civilians. They gathered up all the civilians and everybody else like that uh -huh. and sent them back to pay. Oh. Oh, okay. So, it was, okay, okay. How many, how many people were in, let's say, in your unit? Do you recall? I mean, the twentieth. I don't know. We had, we had, we had a division. Or? Yes, there was a division up there. Uh, I couldn't say how many there was. I don't know. What do they got in the division? Four, or five companies, something like that, in a joint that we had. Okay. Um. Did you did you um, did you have any uh, let's say uh, leave of absences or on um, on our in, co in country where you no are? Oh. no sure. okay. I can go to town and things like that you know okay. for afternoon or something mm -hmm. but no no other time okay. Okay. Uh, uh, did you uh, how did you communicate? Back home, maybe did you stay in touch with her? Letter with the people back home? Yeah. Uh, well, were any, any of your brothers in the, in, the, in, in the service? My brother was in the service. Oh, okay. Before or after you? He was in there before. He was in the fighting over there. Oh, okay. 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 But he was drafted also? He was drafted. Okay. okay. Um, how much older was your brother than you? My brother. <coughs> I was about six, seven years older than I am. Oh, oh okay. So he got in the early part. He got in the early part of the war. Oh, okay. 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 Um, did you have any, um, when you when you were getting close to, uh, let's say, being discharged, how was, how was that, that was, what, was, what was that process like? Well, when it comes to close to that, why they, I don't know how they, how they, uh, Got us lined up for it, but anyway, we just got a call to go get on the ship, mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. home. Okay. okay. Of course, we went, got on a ship there in Korea, but then they went to uh, some port, I don't know what port, in Japan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we stayed there for, I don't know, two or three days. Oh. We sailed with the merchant marines. Uh -huh. and, and I don't know, but they say that when they was over the other side of the 180th parallel, uh -huh. That they got time and a half, and so they spent quite a bit of time over on that side if they could. Oh, okay. So I think we spent three days there while I was fixing a rudder. <coughs> then when we come home, still before we crossed the 180th parallel, we floated out there for a couple of days while we fixed the rudder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this was uh, obviously the, the war was over. Over. Okay, the war was over when. It, when I went overseas, the only thing was they told us you can't smoke up on deck at night. Mm -hmm. You couldn't smoke up on deck because mm -hmm. of the light on deck and, and afraid we they might have some submarines out there that didn't know the war was over and you get blown out of the water or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we went <coughs> when we went over, mm -hmm. the day we loaded up on the ship to go over, that night we got loaded up for that afternoon and for that evening. They fed us pork chops, kind of a greasy pork chop. Uh -huh. And I was a little late going down for dinner, but when I come back up from from dinner, come up on top of the deck, you couldn't hardly walk up there. Oh. Them poor devils was sick all over that place. You uh -huh. couldn't believe. Uh -huh. And I looked out, the ocean just had a real nice roll. It was just 
Mm. We don't ask for all our trouble, but those guys were sick. Mm. Mm. Then when we got <coughs> overseas, got out, oh, I don't know, it's probably uh, four or five days, six days, something like that, we got into a typhoon. Mm. And that's when they locked, the, locked us down. We were down low. We couldn't come up, up above for three days. Wow. We were down in the hole. And mm -hmm. that's when the merchant rangers got sick. And I think they got sick because they were afraid they wanted to be keep floating. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Because wow. wow. you, could, you could feel the ship mm -hmm. when it went into the water. Mm -hmm. When the nose would go into the water, the prop on the back was spinning. You could feel it vibrating the ship. When it went down into the water, the Room, 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 room. Mm -hmm. They had plenty of time. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. did, you, did you call the name of the ship? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. But I do know a friend of mine said they had a, uh, it was a Liberty ship. Mm -hmm. They had one here in Detroit here, what, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine wanted to know if I didn't want to go on to it. I said, no, I had about all those. I really wanted it. So, <laughs> I didn't go with them. And that's for old times' sake, huh? That's for old times' sake. Yeah. But I did. My wife has got a had a cousin that was in the Navy. Mm -hmm. He was on the flu mm -hmm. in Delaware. And, and uh, they've been over in, at uh, over the Rock or over in that area. Mm -hmm. And when they come back, they had what they call Tiger Cruises. Oh. So I could fly to Hawaii and come back on that ship oh. to Long Beach. Now, that was a... Uh, that was a pretty nice ride. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, when, let's say when you were you were you were heading home, you were you were just you know, they were fixing the runner out just outside of the. Well, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, but I, I know they were they were doing something. Yeah. So so how was that trip back home? How long did it take you to get back to? Did you stop in Hawaii or what? No, no. When we got on over there, we come right straight to. Uh, you know, I believe we come to Frisco. To Okay. Okay. Was it maybe that there was an Amish station there? Or, or no, I think I think we got right. As I remember, I think we got right on the train and and was headed back east. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think at Fort Sheridan or something like that. That's where I was discharged from. Okay. You rode a lot of trains, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Well, that's that's how they moved you. That's how they moved you. So you get you get to Fort Sheridan. Um, how long were you there before they, they actually found a discharge? I think just a couple of days. A couple of days. And give you a paper from the Okay. And, and did you? Um, and, and what happened? How did you get home? And what, what was what was it? Well, I think it was a bus then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, did you? Did you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you probably knew you were coming home, so. It was, uh, did you surprise them or did they knew that, that you were Well, I was kind of surprised when you asked. Oh, okay. Because the time I could have written them from, from uh, Korea, where I was, mm -hmm. why they wouldn't have gotten the letter by the time I got home. Okay. So, so what was it like when you showed up at the door? <laughs> well, I'm kind of surprised to everybody, but I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 A pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, did you make any lasting friends in the army, the people that, that you communicated with? Uh, a couple that I have called, but not really any that I go see mm -hmm. or, or anything like that. There's mm -hmm. a couple that I called. Mm -hmm. That was good buddy of mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a friend in Texas, a good friend of mine. Okay. Okay. Um, did you have any, um, how, how was it adjusting back to civilian life? Um, Didn't bother me a bit. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. So what did you start doing after you got back? Well, my, boss, my dad, as I said, they had been in, in the lumber business, the logging business, and he bought off a tract of timber. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I helped him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut logs. Oh. That's when we did it with a cross cut. We did panel with chainsaws. Oh. We did it with a cross cut. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that was your job when you got back? That's what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. That, that, and I think, what did they do? Give us unemployment for what, 26 weeks or something like that, I think? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So, 
Hold you over a little bit. 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 Hold you over a little bit.